welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been a while. Trust me, I have been dying to talk to you guys. It has been a whole journey with this nose job. I might just do a Q&A video, that way if you don't wanna watch my whole recovery, I can also just cut it short. That's for a whole other video. So let's just get straight to it. Started off the trip with packing and heading to the airport. We obviously went to JFK. I have never traveled before. I'm getting a nose job and seeing my mom all mixture of emotions i would say the scariest thing for me was probably getting on the plane and going through security so after all the scary stuff after taking off we finally land in mexico city and then we have a connecting flight to aguas calientes as you will see this is after i had met my mom after we reunited which will be a separate video so this is aguas calientes where i got my surgery done i kid you not when we landed it was so hot it honestly felt like a desert and it even looked like a desert but i still think it was beautiful and it was my first time seeing a palm tree when we got to the house i gave you guys a little sneak peek and i gave you a sneak peek of where i was supposed to stay but it didn't end up working out as you'll see later on in the video. Let's get right to the second day, just because the first day I landed there had nothing to do with the surgery. The second day was most surgery procedures and getting everything ready. So today, right now, I'm getting ready to go get COVID testing because you know, today is my consultation before my nose job tomorrow in the morning. I'm really excited, nervous, anxious, and we're just getting ready to head out. I probably won't do like vlogging style. Maybe I'll just talk over. I have to be very careful with like getting my phone stolen or just be aware of my surroundings. So I don't feel comfortable pulling out my phone like that. So I'll do the best I can. So right now we're just gonna head out there. Before we got to the appointment, we actually went out for a bit. So my appointment for the consultation was at 6.50, but I got there earlier because it was first come first serve. As you can tell in the video, I arrived. I was super excited. I was in the bathroom. I was losing my mind. Um, and yeah, it was nice to see other patients there as well. It made me feel completely comfortable. So for the consultation, I actually didn't film anything just because I didn't ask the doctor for any permission and i was just nervous enough i didn't need to pull out my camera and make myself feel any more uncomfortable or nervous or anxious this is already just enough for me so i'm sorry i didn't record my consultation they confirmed my identity and they made sure we were on the same page about what surgery i was getting so they you know reassured me that i was getting the rhinoplasty aesthetic rhinoplasty he explained to me what was going to happen so he basically looked at my side profile he told me to look to the right to the left and then he told me he remembers getting my pictures he basically asked me what i wanted to fix about my nose and i explained to him obviously what i wanted to fix as it was pretty clear he pretty much was telling me we need to shave the bump down we're gonna lift up the tip and he was like i'm not gonna lie basically it's gonna be a lot of work i didn't take it personally because i hated my nose the only thing i would say is if you are considering getting the surgery done make sure that that's like the only thing you want to get done or know what you're going in for because i feel like a lot of people would have been offended if they heard what he said to me but it was more in a way of like this is his job so obviously they're gonna recommend you what they think is best or maybe it's just for money i don't know um but he did tell me he wanted to put in chin fillers so he told me you know everyone that comes in here they get nose jobs chin fillers cheek fillers just to give the illusion of the perfect dimensions I was pretty secure on my decision. I didn't want to do anything else. So I politely declined. I was like, no, thank you. I'm here just for this and this reason only. Like I said, I'm sure most doctors will try to offer you what they think will be best for you, but you have to be strong-minded and know what you're coming in for. If you're very, very like indecisive, I don't think you should personally be ready to make this decision because I, only was very insecure about this and i knew what i was going for so that's my 
kind of advice. So just to reiterate, he basically told me I could not eat after 9, so I went from 9 to 12, 3. So I went 8 hours without eating. My surgery was at 5.30, so after 9, I could not eat or drink anything. He explained to me that the surgery could last anywhere from 2 to 3 hours, depending on the case. Um, for me, it actually lasted 3 hours, so they did take their time. Um, and he asked if I had any questions, but honestly, I feel like I was so well prepared. I did my research, so if you have any questions to ask your surgeon, you should probably go ahead. They could reassure you. It could probably make you feel better. I, on the other hand, was very secure and very confident on my doctor. He made me feel very comfortable and he showed me lots of results and cases similar to my nose that he showed me pictures of what I'm gonna look like, kind of. My doctor does not provide any like Photoshop images, so I kind of went into this blindly, but I felt very confident in his work. The big question I've gotten, um, how do I know or what pictures did you show to the surgeon to get what nose you got? And like I said, I got an aesthetic rhinoplasty. So an aesthetic rhinoplasty goes based off the dimensions of your face. You don't really get to pick. If you do want to pick a specific nose, I'm honestly not really sure about that. I would highly recommend doing your research and you would probably have to look for multiple, multiple doctors because <laughs> everyone is different so i'm not really sure how to do that i just know that i got the aesthetic rhinoplasty and an open rhinoplasty day of surgery i was still up until like one or two in the morning because i was just so well not nervous i was more excited oh my god okay so it's literally like 12 at night and my surgery switched from 6 30 to 5 30 so it's like five hours before and I can't sleep. I'm so nervous and excited. I went for my consultation today and I didn't record it. I'm like really excited. I'm not even anxious, I'm more excited. But yeah, so I still have some stuff to go by. But like my head's been all over the place. We've been like going around the city that I didn't even think of it. So my mom and sister are gonna go buy my stuff that I need tomorrow after I'm back home. Looks like tomorrow's the day, so. Like, I can't even put into words how excited I am. I feel like when I was there, it just felt so unreal. Everything up to this day has felt so unreal, so I'm excited. But I'm gonna try my best to go to sleep because I do need to wake up early. See you guys later. Just wish me luck on my surgery. A pro tip, definitely, definitely buy everything you need before surgery. I'm gonna write a list here of what I got. I didn't think this through, so the first day I was kind of struggling. Um, with like recovery and like you know having everything that I needed because my head was all over the place about traveling getting there the Airbnb my surgery I was just so overwhelmed that I don't know why that didn't cross my mind so definitely definitely buy your products before your surgery and um, if you could maybe bring them with you from home so I woke up so early I woke up at 4 30 because I wanted to shower, so you're not allowed to shower at least the first day of surgery. Um, my doctor said you can, but I looked, I did a bunch of research and most people didn't on the first day. So I took a shower before I went to get it done. Um, that way I come home and I just feel good. I actually just wore leggings, socks, my Crocs, and a button-up shirt. Um, they recommend a button-up shirt or something very loose just so it doesn't hit your face after the surgery. Once it was like around 5 o'clock, that's when we started calling our cab. I was honestly so scared because it was only my second day in Aguas Calientes. This is a side of Mexico I've never been to. I know it's a safe area, but I was just so nervous. So I needed to be there at least by 5.30. And the Airbnb I rented was about 20, 17 minutes away. So we made it just in time and we got there actually earlier than we needed to. We finally made it and they made us sign this agreement. I agree with the anesthesia, what procedure I was getting done, asking if I had any allergies, saying that I am of age, someone's taking care of me, and I am agreeing to all their terms. That's when it hit me like, oh my god, this is actually happening. I was not freaking out, but I was like, this is what people do before their procedures. Cause like you always see the pretty side of it, but you never see what goes on behind the scenes. So it was just so crazy to me. I was like, ah, this is so scary. I like, I know I have to sign the forms, but 
I don't know, signing a form seems like so official. I was like, Ugh. I didn't even wear contacts, so I had to wear my glasses. They took me into this room. They told me to get undressed and just leave the gown on. So you just stay with your underwear. That's when it was all starting to feel like so real. I was just, I felt like I was disassociating because like I said, I'm not the type I'm the type to cry and freak out, so this is so shocking to me. A few minutes later, the nurse came in. I always forget what this is. And I literally studied this in nursing school. Isn't it so embarrassing? Let me look it up because I'm embarrassed. IV catheter. So they inserted that in me and yo, I am not even lying. It was just like throbbing. And I was like, maybe they did it wrong. It hurt so bad. That was the most painful part. The surgeon came in to say hi to me. It's funny because I cannot see anything, so everyone to me just looked like a big blob. Um, so they came in, they told me what I was, what was gonna happen to me again. But I think at this point, I was just kind of in like so much shock. I was like, oh my god, like what is happening? After your surgery, we'll bring you back here. And luckily, everyone was so nice. Everyone was like making conversation with me, trying to make me keep calm. But I was kind of very shy. I was having a hard time like keeping up with their Spanish, but they were nice. They just thought it was kind of funny that like you could tell I'm not from there. Like you could, you could tell I was struggling. And then these two nurses came to help me. And guys, I was literally so blind. They literally had to hold me like this because I could not see anything. So they're like, can you see? Are you okay? Are you gonna pass out? And I'm like, no, no, I'm okay. I just can't see nothing. Like. I'm, I'm so blind. They took me to the surgery room and I kid you not, I felt like I was stepping into heaven because it was like so bright and especially because I could not see anything. Everything just looked like white to me. Maybe I was freaking out or something. I don't know. I just see like, you know, the whole surgery room. You see like a bunch of doctors and nurses and then I just see the surgery table straight in the middle and I felt like I was gonna die. And they sit me down on the surgery table they introduced me to all the doctors, they showed me the anesthesiologist, the person who's going to be monitoring my heart rate. It was a whole bunch of people who were asking me questions like, is this your first surgery? And then they were asking me where I was from. All I remember is they literally strapped down my arms to the table and then, you know, they put my head back and they put like a bunch of heart monitors on me. And then the last thing I remember was like, what do you want your nose to look like? And they were like, I was like, I want it to look nice and pointy. I want it a drastic change. We're going to put the mask on you and this is anesthesia. So you're going to go to sleep. We need you to count back from 10. And I swear, I just remember seeing it go like this and then I was knocked out. I don't remember nothing. Right before I actually like woke up from surgery was like when I think they were done. They were like moving me from one bed to another to transfer me. Um, They were just like, you know, move your head, be careful. Are you comfortable? Are you okay? I was probably like, because uh. <laughs> it was literally like right after surgery when they were moving me, they were asking me all this and like I wasn't conscious. I was just kind of like aware of barely what was happening so i don't remember much of that i just remember seeing their heads trying to move me and that's it so then we go to the scene of me waking up after surgery oh my god Aquí les presentamos a la nueva almita. <risa> Toda dolorida. I'm sorry, that ending was a little too dramatic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week.